Hello, if you love ocean spray... And bubbles. Get both with Soda Stream. Can I do it now? Hold on. Look for it in the Soda Stream aisle. Go ahead. Awesome. Fizz the holiday season with Soda Stream. Welcome to the Raps Drinking with the Stars at the Toronto International Film Festival presented by SodaStream. We are very lucky to have Josh Charles in the studio with us today, the star of Bird People, and uh, he also appears in Adult Beginners, which is going to be screening this week. Josh, welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. Uh, so let's let's you know let's start with Bird People. I'm from Boston. This movie is about just a bunch of Larry Bird fans, right? <laughs> no, actually, it's. I, I, I do think it's funny, I have to remind my fans, especially people that know that I'm from Baltimore and a big sports fan, that I'm in a film, it's a French film that I made a couple years ago called Bird People. It's coming out September 12th in New York and LA and a few other cities. IFC, and, and, right? And, yes, in, v, okay. in VOD, and I need to let them all know that it's actually not about the Ravens or the Orioles. Got it. I know it might be hard for some of my, my, my Baltimore fans and peeps to believe, but it's a film called Bird People that has nothing to do with my sports team. So tell the folks at home, what, what is Bird People about? Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a really kind of I, I think very special and unique film. Uh, narratively, it's it's a hybrid story. It follows two characters and they kind of interconnect. Uh, but it's a film really. It's a film that's set in the world today. But I think what Pascal Ferrand really wanted to to say with the film was a film also about the world today, how we interact with one another. Uh, since the sense of loneliness and isolation a lot of people feel. The more literally connected we are, the more emotionally disconnected we become. I think it, it deals in those themes about you know, being um, an individual and being part of a group. And it, and, it, and it looks at the duality of that and the sort of organic flow of merger individuation. And it deals with uh, how technology is kind of affecting that as well, right? I mean, technology brings us together, but it also seems to isolate it's us. A, that's a part, of, a part of it, yeah, I think, yeah. I think the film's about a lot of things, but I think that's one of them, yeah. Okay. Now, I mean, you're working with a largely foreign cast here. Um, was it more difficult to sort of assimilate within the uh, ensemble on this one? Or? Uh, it, you know what, it, it, was, it was part of, you know, the draw of wanting to do it was to work with Pascal, who I, I think is a brilliant filmmaker and a very dedicated filmmaker, and she cared so deeply about this movie. Um, I wanted to see it come to light. I wanted to be a part of something completely different than anything I'd ever done. And this film did all that. It's, um, and working with, you know, with Pascal, who does not speak um, English. I mean, she does, yes, yeah, she doesn't speak English, and I don't speak much French. I had to learn a little French for the film, but we worked through an interpreter. And I found, you know, very much the way Gary, the character I play, feels very isolated at the time that he has to make these big decisions or feels he needs to. Um, you know, I, I was working in a foreign country away from my family uh, with a crew that predominantly didn't speak English. And I found it very helpful actually to get into the character because he was going through very similar things. And it, it, made, it put me in a very meditative state acting wise because when you're sitting in a room, like if we were here right now and everybody's just talking and you just hear that sort of low murmur of French being talked all around you and mm -hmm. you feel like nobody really knows what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling and I can kind of <laughs> just be. I found that really cool. That's I found it helpful. It was interesting actually. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, I understand the film kind of takes like a, a big kind of left turn, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it deals with magical realism. Uh, can you uh, yeah. a little bit? No, no, it's fine. Yeah, I think, I, I think it's, the film is, like I said, it's a hybrid structure, the film. It follows two distinct stories and mm -hmm. they do connect, but not in a way you would necessarily think. Um, yes, and one part of the film is grounded in, in, in real reality, and the other film is much. The other half of the film, I think, is much more, uh, you know, um, set in the sort of, uh, what would you say, in the uh, supernatural. Okay. All right. I like that you're not giving anything away because I still. Uh, no, I think to it's a film best this left week. to you know. Someone asked me earlier, how would you say this in a log line? It's, it's not a. It's not a film that I would say in a log line. The only thing I would say um, that would be kind of an inside joke when someone sees the film is I would say. Uh, you know, uh, take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Okay. It's, a, it's definitely an interesting ride. Josh Hurls, thank you very much for, for you. coming to the Raps Drinking with the Stars at Toronto Film Festival, brought to you by SodaStream. I'm loving this stuff. It's I love better Soda than Stream. just boring flat water to I me. Got, it's the I got, I got water. one of these at home. I love it. It's a great machine. Good. All right, well, good luck with everything and thank you again. Take care.